Panibagong topic na naman ng ating i-discuss ngayong araw na to at ang topic nito ay tungkol sa equation of the circle in standard form. So, meron tayong tatlong uh, uh, pagkukunan ng standard form. Meron tayong tatlong given. So, we have here the center and the radius to uh, given by two endpoints and given by center and passing through a point. So, before that, let's subdefine first the circle. So, the, cir the circles are loc uh, locus of all points in a plane having the same fixed positive distance from a fixed point. So, this positive distance is the radius, while the fixed point is called the center. So, we have here the equation, or we have here the diagram of the circle. So, this is the circle, this is the fixed point, which has the, that is called the center of the circle. So, it has the HK. So, the C is HK, while from here up to here, this is what we call the radius. So, the equation of the circle in standard form with the center C, H, K, and R is greater than to zero. We have here the form of X minus H, the quantity of X minus H squared plus the quantity of Y minus K squared is equal to R squared. Now, pag-usapan natin ngayon yung unang form. So, equation of the circle given by the center and the radius. Example nito is find the equation of the circle in standard form with the center at 2, negative 5 and radius is 3. Then, sketch the graph. So, in this case, uh, we have to use this, the center. This will be let h as the positive 2 and k is equal to negative 5 and your r based on the given is equal to negative 3. Then, we have the formula. Use the formula. The quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Just substitute. The, the value of your h is equal to negative 2. Uh, two. Magiging negative siya kasi minus 2 from the given or from the formula minus h. That's why this will be 2. Then, kakanan tayo ng y minus. So, the open and close parenthesis negative 5. Kasi negative 5 to multiply to the negative. Kaya nakaroon siya ng uh, open and close parenthesis dito. Then, is equal to the value of your r is equal to 3 then squared. Then, simplifying, magkakaroon tayo dito ng x minus 2, the quantity of x minus 2 squared plus uh, negative times negative, this will be a positive, then squared is equal to 3 times 3 is 9. Kaya, this will be the equation of the circle given by the center and the radius. Now, sabi dito, sketch the graph. Now, in sketching the graph, magkakaroon tayo dito na the center is 2 and negative 5. So, ito yung positive 2, then negative 5 dito. This will be the center. Now, your R is equal to 3. Now, bilang tayo, from the center, bilang tayo yung tatlo to the right. So, 1, 2, and 3. So, this is your radius, your yung R. So, from center, bilang tayo pababa, this is 1, 2, and 3. Then, from center, pataas, 1, 2, and 3. Then, from center to the left, 1, 2, and 3. May kukonek lang natin yung mga endpoints dito. Nakabuo tayo ng circle dito. With the center of 2 and negative 5 and radius is equal to neg positive 3. Another example is find the equation of the circle in standard form with center at negative 6, 7 and radius is a and the radius is the square root of 5. Then sketch the graph. Now the same, we have to let h is equal to negative 6. So from here, from the center, it's negative 6 and k is equal to 7, so uh, this will be 7. Then your r is equal to the square root of 5 based on the given. Then using again the formula, makakaroon tayo x minus, the quantity of x minus h squared plus y, the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Then substitute, then x minus the open and close parentheses of negative 6. So nilagay siya ng open and close parentheses kasi siya ay negative plus y minus 7. The value of your k is 7 is equal to the square root of 5 then squared. Now, just simplify this. So, magkakaroon tayo ng negative times negative. This will be positive. This copy. Then, cancel out to yung the square root of 5 and 2. Cancel out yung radical and 2. So, therefore, we just only have 5. So, the final answer will be x, the quantity of x plus 6 squared plus the quantity of y minus 7 squared is equal to 5. Now, to sketch the graph, we tayo dito ng, uh, we have here h is equal to negative 6. So, negative 6 and 7 is our center. 
So negative six. Ito yon. That's will that will be our x. So negative six and neg positive seven. So ito yung magiging center. Next is the square root of five. The radius is the square root of five. The square root of five is approximately two point twenty four. So from here, bilang ka ng dalawa, then point twenty four. So one, two, and this will be the point twenty four. So from here also, bilang ka ng dalawa. So one, two, and point twenty four. So one, two, point twenty four. Then one, two, and point twenty four. So this will be the graph of of the graph with the centers negative six and seven, and the radius is square root of five. Another uh, equation of the circle. Equation of the circle uh, in standard form given by two end points. So in this case, so we have here find the equation of the circle in the standard form with the diameter whose end points are a uh, has the coordinates of three and three four and b has the coordinates of negative three and twelve. So in this case, i grab mo na natin yun or i plot mo na natin yung point natin. Yung point natin na A is 3, uh, 3, 4. So, magkakaroon tayo dito ng ito yung 3. Tapos, this will be the 4. So, this is the A as a coordinate of 3, 4. The next is the coordinate of B which is negative 3 and 12. So, ito yung negative 3. Tapos, itatapat lang siya dun sa 12. So, this will be the letter B with a coordinate of negative 3 and 12. So, ito yung ibig sabihin ng 2 end points. So, ito yung magiging diameter niya. So, pag kinonect natin yung A, papunta doon kay B. So, this will be the, the diameter of the circle. The end points of the diameter of the circle. So, here we have here the center. Kukunin natin ito mamaya kung ano bang value ng center natin later. So, Balik tayo sa ating problem. So, the diameter of first endpoints are 3, 4, and negative 3, and 12. So, in this case, para makuha natin yung distance o yung layo ng from A to B, gamit tayo ng distance formula. So, the distance formula has the formula of the square root of the quantity of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus the quantity of y minus y squared, uh, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. Now, in this case, we have to let that the x sub 1 is your 3, y sub 1 is 4, then x sub 2 is negative 3, and y sub 2 is equal to 12. So, we have the distance, d is equal to, or the distance is equal to the square root of, this is the x sub 2. So, x sub 2 natin is negative 3, x sub 1 natin is positive 3. So, since it's minus, kasi minus yung nandun sa formula natin, so negative minus 3, minus 3, then squared. Plus, y sub 2 is 12, then y sub 1 is equal to 4. So, karoon tayo 12 minus 4, then squared. Now, in this case, magkakaroon tayo ng square root of, simplify lang natin ito, negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6, then squared. Plus, 12 minus 4 is 8, then simplify, uh, Negative 6 to the power of 2 or negative 6 squared is 36 plus 8 squared is equal to 64. Now, karoon tayo dito na just add 36 plus 64. So, we have the square root of 100. Then, take the square root of 100. This will be 10 units. Or, since this is the diameter, ito yung kabuuan o yung distance. Ang layo, ang layo ng A to B. Ay kukuha lang tayo ng radius in this, in this case. So, from the diameter, di ba mayroon tayong dalawang radius? So, kukuha lang tayo ng isa. That's why we have to divide this by 2. So, 10 divided by 2, your R will be equal to 5. Kasi, pag inad natin, 5 plus 5, the answer will be 10. So, since meron tayong r is equal to 5, our radius is next is to find the center. To find for the center, ito yung kukunin natin. So, in this kanina, we have here from a to b. So, kinuha lang natin is simula dito hanggang dito. That, is, that will be the radius. Ngayon, kukunin natin yung center, yung pinaka kitna ng a to b. Now, to find for the center, gamit tayo ng midpoint. So, midpoint formula or middle point. That's why we have your x sub 1 plus x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. Then, comma, then y sub 2 plus y sub 1 over 2. So, the same we have here. The x sub 1 is 3, y sub 1 is 4, x sub 2 is negative 3, y sub 2 is equal to 12. Just uh, substitute to the formula. 
x sub 1 is 3 minus x sub 2, which is uh, minus 3. So, positive 2, positive times negative, kaya this will be a negative. Then, kakaroon tayo dito ng uh, y sub 1 is 4, then y sub 2 is equal to 12. That's why this is 4 plus 12. Then, over 2, over 2. Then, simplify, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 minus 3, this is 0, over 2. 4 plus 12 is equal to 16 over 2. Then, simplify again. 0 divided by 2, this will be 0. Then, 16 divided by 2, this will be 8. So, therefore, the center or the midpoint formula, so the midpoint is equivalent niya is the center kasi yun yung pinaka-middle. Uh, so, the center will be equal to 0 and 8. Since we have here the R is equal to 5 and the center is equal to 0, 8, we can now let that h is equal to 0. Then, kasi the c is equal to hk. So, this will be the h. Then, the k is equal to 8. And your r is equal to 5. Using the formula, x minus 8 then squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equal to r squared. The substitute, our h is equal to 0. Then, our k is equal to minus 8. Kasi... Mm. So, mabra tayo dito ng parenthesis. Just only one parenthesis lang yan. So, minus 8. Kasi, minus 8 kasi negative to Negative. Since positive naman to that's why dapat ma-remove to This correction is equal to our r is equal to 5, then 5 squared. Then, uh, simplify or kung may simplify man dyan. So, if you're going to simplify, x minus 0 is x then squared. So, matatanggal na yung parenthesis dito kasi x minus 0 ay x lang. That's why this will be x squared only. Plus, y minus 8 is still y minus 8 then squared. Is equal to 5 squared. This will be 25 kasi 5 times 5 is 25. Another case for the equation of the circle is a square, uh, with given by the center passing through a point. So, in this case, uh, example natin dito is find the equation of the circle in standard form with the center uh, the value of 2 and 4 coordinates is 2 and 4 and passing through a point A which is a coordinate of 7 and negative 2. Now in this case since we have the center of 2 and 4 we need to find for the radius. Now to find for the radius gamit tayo, gamitin natin yung mga formula yung mga given natin dito we have the h is equal to positive 2, k is equal to positive 4, so from here, from the center. Then x sub 1 is 7, so from a point, so x sub 1 is 7 and y sub 1 is equal to negative 2. Then, gamitin natin yung formula natin, so this is our uh, formula. Substitute lang natin itong mga given natin dito sa ating formula to find for the r. So, since our x is 7 and our h is 2, then y is equal to negative 2 and 4, k is equal to positive 4. Since lahat naman sila ay positive except for this negative, although nandito siya sa unahan, kaya hindi na natin siya lagyan ng uh, open and close parenthesis kasi nasa unahan, nasa unahan naman siya ng negative sign. And is equal to r squared. Then just simplify 7 minus 5, this will be uh, 7 minus 2 rather is 5 then squared. Then negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 6, then squared is equal to r squared. Now, in this case, uh, the simplify lang natin, 5 squared is equal to 25, it's negative 6 squared or 6 times 6 is 36, negative, time, negative times negative is equal to positive 36, that's why this will be a positive 36, is equal to r squared. Then simplify, 25 plus 36 is equal to 61, is equal to r squared. Uh, Pwede na ditong tumigil kasi pwede uh, kinuha lang naman natin itong R square. Gagamitin na natin ito siya. Gagamitin na natin ito mamaya. Or kung pinapakuha talaga yung radius, just continue. We have here the take the square root of the given. Both side. So that's why gagawin tayo ng the square root of 61 is equal to R squared. Now, since we have here 61 is equal to R squared or the square root of 61 is equal to R, and our c is equal to 2 and 4. Meron na yung given, uh, from the given. So, we have to use, again, the formula. Uh, not, or to let, first, to let again. 
we have here x h is equal to positive 2 and k is equal to positive 4 then your r is equal to the square root of 61 then use the formula to find for the equation so we have here the hindi na natin to papaltan tong x at saka yung y kasi we are getting for the form, uh, equation of the circle so pinapaltan lang natin yung x at saka yung y natin kung nawawala yung r so in this case magkakaroon tayo ng x minus 2 so from here uh, that's uh, this is h that's 2 then squared plus y minus 4 kasi the k is 4 is equal to uh, 61 now, why this is 61? Kasi r squared, the value of r squared is 61. Parehas lang naman silang dalawa. Sinarkat na lang natin. r squared is equal to 61. Kasi pag sinabstitute mo dito yung uh, r squared, this will be the square root of 61, then squared, kakancel mo lang naman tong 2, yung square root at saka yung 2, the answer will also 61. So, this will be the equation of the circle. So, based on the given we have here the 2 4 and passing through the point negative 7 and 2 so this these are all about our topic regarding with the equation of the circle given by the center and radius given by two end points of the diameter and given by the center and passing through a point